Okay, imagine we've got a spring attached to the ceiling, as shown on the left, and we know that the spring constant, which represents kind of the stiffness of the spring, is 38.9 newtons per meter. It takes 38.9 newtons of force to stretch that spring by one meter. So it's just hanging there, nothing's acting on it. There are no forces on it in location A. Then I hang a mass off it, and that string, that spring, sorry, will stretch to location B. How far does it stretch? What is the overall change in length of that spring? Well, when it's in that final resting spot, it's in equilibrium. It's got a force of gravity acting down on it, and what's holding it up is the spring. And because it's not moving, those two forces are equal. So our spring force has to equal our force of gravity. And that's simply because the net force is zero. Everything has to be balanced. Now we just plug in our equations. Hooke's law says our spring force can be calculated by multiplying the spring constant times the change in length. And we know force of gravity is just mass times 9.8. Now we're trying to figure out how far the spring stretches. We're trying to find delta x. So delta x will be mg all over k, which is 1.3 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared, all divided by 38.9 newtons per meter. And that gives me a stretch or a change in length of 0.33 meters.